19 hearts is to back with you. Let's go outside and see the Hawks and Doves. <laughs> <laughs> Hawks and Doves, we made it to the 1980s with this album. Yes. Here we are in the 80s. 80. Hawks and Doves, this is an interesting record, let me tell you. By, by the way, did you know this was released on the eve of the presidential election? Right, saw that. Right song, before the election. Reagan. A song 19, from yeah. his uh, uh, self titled album is called. Um, Hawks and Doves? No, no, no. From the self titled his first album? Yes. There's a song on it that's. um. Mm -hmm. uh, has to do with the title I just called. I think it's. I think it's. Uh, I'm not sure. What's it called? Blue and Red Sides, Ooh. by the way. You like that, buddy? Come back Different to that. labels? Maybe you'll think of it before we. Before we finish our episode here. Did you notice that, Silas? Yes, I did. The, the dove side is blue, the hawk mm -hmm. side is red, which sort of makes sense with the the, uh, the lyrics and the topics, the topical Content. nature of this album. We have, here's the lyric sleeve. So again, this is similar to American Stars and Bars, Silas. Remember how for half of that record was like recorded at once and then the other was like older things? Same here. Similar. So the first side is all mainly quiet, acoustic sort of mellow Neil, almost only him. And then the second side is um, country. Country. Yeah. And the first side dates back, we have a song from Hitchhiker, the, one of the songs from uh, Homegrown. Oh, what I was going to say about his first self-titled albums, Here We Are in the 80s, Here We Are in the Years. Oh, right. Did he say that? Yeah, Here We Are in oh, the Years that's is interesting. the track. Um, I forgot so about that. So, the first side, Little Wing, is beautiful. Well, we knew that song already. It's but not Homegrown. Old Homestead, I love that. Lost in Space with the third track, also. That was beautiful. And Captain Kennedy, we already knew. From yes. Hitchhiker. From These Hitchhiker. are four That's a great songs song. in this first. Let me say, the four songs in this first side, to me. Excellent. I got ten. Yeah, I love same. the first side of this album. And then the second side goes down a bit. <laughs> These are, well, it almost feels like two totally different things. Yeah, he, huh, what do we make of the second side? I have feelings about it. It sounds as though he's trying to appeal to sort of nationalistic ideas of um, being proud of your country and talking about... Um, yeah, but it's almost like jingoistic. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's doing this whole USA, proud to be in the USA. If you don't like it, then something. I don't yeah, remember he what the said words that in, in, Hawks and Doves. Yeah. Hawks and Doves, he said that. Go away or something. If you don't like it, then go away. I mean, it was all like... I mean, honestly, Siley, you remember they were talking about... We talked about Southern Man and um alabama. alabama and then yes. that there was that terrible song sweet home alabama that was released you know in the middle of that and like this song almost reminds me of sweet home alabama and its crappiness and what its song? tone hawks and doves hawks and doves i song. didn't care for it there's union man union. yeah that was like making fun of unions it was super sarcastic i guess yeah, he so was yeah. saying i mean we have the lyrics music. here he was saying live music is better it says, I'm proud to be a union man. I make these meetings when I can. I pay my dues ahead of time. When the benefits come in, when the benefits come in, the last in line, I'm proud to be a union man. Uh, it's basically just talking about, like, sort of, talk about, what is it, every fourth Friday at 10 a.m., there's a local meeting. If he's sort he's of like... He's kind of dumping on unions. I guess so. Or is he or is he maybe paying tribute to them by saying they work hard and they sort of... No way. I sort of felt like uh, this I2 was not as good, but I did kind of like coming apart at every nail and You like that? Clubs. I agree. My favorite song on the, on the second side was coming apart at every nail. Otherwise, those other songs were a little weak. I mean, I just thought it was interesting, the whole blue and red thing, Democrat, Republican, like, I don't know if he was, was this like purpose, is that, was that like a political thing? I don't know. I was mean, he like a Reagan guy or something? I'm kind of wondering if he turned, um, he's because I mean, clearly, not, like, he's, he's yeah, like it was interesting. And all the, all the things that came before it, I mean, like, Ohio and mm -hmm. all that stuff. This was, um, this is, uh, one of his shortest albums, yes. Wikipedia said. Yeah, I think under it said it was minutes, under right? 30 minutes, right? Yes. That's and, very short. I mean, I don't mind that he went, like, he was going country again. I just feel like the songs... Oh, they were very lazy. ...were on the weaker side. I like, I actually like the fiddle in it, who was, um, uh, Rufus Thibodeau playing Phil. <laughs> oh, it was only Neil Young playing now and comes the time. Right. So, can I, I can tell you one interesting thing that I read about, um, was that right, like, it, during the time that he was recording those record. sessions, I saw that, during the time he was recording those sessions, his, um, he had a son with, uh, Patty, was that his wife? Peggy. Peggy. Peggy Young, yeah. That was his second child, born yeah. with cerebral palsy. Yeah. So they were, and, and was a much more severe 
cerebral palsy and he was unable to communicate and they were involved in this really intensive therapies that they were doing to like try and establish some communication with the son and it said in different things that it was taking like 13 14 hours a day so he may have been just totally fried and i don't know it seemed like it was a very difficult time in his personal life well he was on like quite a run the new albums every year um Cyborg was good though tour, probably t- like lots of touring i thought so too Cyborg. they Cyborg. just came out they just came this just came after um russ never sleeps i really like, like the, the blue one. and red though you do like that the label i mean I have to say, the first side, this work, record's worth having just for the first side. The first side was sure. fantastic. Really subtle and a lot of grace to it. And it, I, I don't know if he was trying to do Harvest again in some respect, but he definitely captured the vibe of Harvest. And on the beach, if he kept side one, like, he, if he kept side two similar to side, side A of this, side, if he kept side B similar to side A on this, we would have had an on the beach like vibe and sure. sort of total feeling on this. On the Beach is already a good record. Oh. Although I have to say, like the songs that we thought were good were ones that were pulled from earlier projects. So the stuff well, that he was recording at this time was like not great. But at the time, great. no one really knew that. They were right. just like, oh, these in hindsight, the time they were new. Yeah. In hindsight. Blue again and red. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, um... You want, to talk, you want to give you a review? Yeah, I think it's shaky time. I think it's a short record. Let's it's keep shaky. it that way. Well, I think I'm going to give it, um... Eight shakies. Okay. Okay. Eight shakies. What's your fi- What's your thinking on that? Well, what brings it down is the second side. Okay. That's still pretty good grading, though. Yeah. I give it seven shakies. Seven shakies, and I would like I said, if side A, if side B was anything, side A it would have been ten for me. I love the first side, and I'm I'm happy to spin this again just to play side A. And side B, eh? Don't know if I'll go to side B. I'll okay. stick with seven. How All about right. you? Miss Camera Lady, Camera Woman. Camera Woman. Um, I'm gonna say five shakies. Five. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought I. I think they're two totally separate things, and I didn't like the other thing. Hmm. Didn't like the other one. I didn't like. I didn't yeah, like Red Side. Making me feel like I was too nice to it. Maybe. Maybe I should downgrade. You stand by your. Well, stand by your shakies. High, really. It is pretty what was your high. least favorite song? I'm gonna change to six. Six shakies. Oh You're boy, right. my gotta, least gotta, favorite. My least favorite song was probably. Hawks and doves. Why? Why would die, Why did you not? I'm like not. That? I'm not. I wasn't. See, I personally didn't like the fiddle. I didn't like the Stayin feeling power. of it. I don't. Stayin power was okay. All right. Stayin power. <laughs> you and I. All right. Uh, but uh, uh, did you like Common Accord Every Nail? It's okay. And uh, did you? How about Union Man? I didn't like that song. No. I thought it was snarky. <laughs> all right. So Let's all wrap, over the map here. Wrapped up Hawks and Doves. So now what's the next album? Now, now we're getting into Weird Town. Reactor. Things get yeah, weirder on Reactor. Things, things get weird. <laughs> yeah, we got Get Back On It. Oh, we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, yes. his, that will be his last album for reprise until we got, it comes back. We got plenty of stuff to talk about with Reactor. Yes. All, right. all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.